If you're experiencing some weird idling issues with your car, you might be dealing with a malfunctioning idle air control valve, or IAC valve. Today, we're diving into the symptoms of a bad IAC valve, and I'll help you figure out if this could be the culprit behind your engine troubles. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you, thanks for riding with me always. And if you're new here, welcome aboard, and you will not regret it. You're in the right place. So, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more car maintenance tips. Now, let's jump right in. What is Idle Air Control Valve, the AC? The Idle Air Control, AC, valve is a component in modern vehicles designed to manage the engine's idle speed. It helps maintain smooth idling by regulating the amount of air bypassing the throttle plate when the throttle is closed. This is important because it ensures the engine maintains the correct idle speed, even when it is not accelerating. The IAC valve is typically controlled by the engine control unit, ECU, or the engine management system. It opens or closes a valve to allow more or less air to enter the engine when the accelerator is not being used. When functioning correctly, the IAC ensures that the engine does not stall at idle, offering stable performance and preventing rough idling. Let's take a look at the most common symptoms that will help you spot a malfunctioning IAC valve. Number 1. Erratic idle speed. One of the most common symptoms of a malfunctioning IAC valve is erratic or fluctuating idle speeds. If the valve becomes clogged or fails, it may not regulate airflow effectively, causing the engine to idle too high or too low. For example, the engine might rev up unexpectedly, even without the driver pressing the accelerator. Conversely, the engine could stall or struggle to maintain a stable idle, particularly at stoplights or during low-speed driving. This issue is often noticeable when the car is stationary or at idle, and it may cause the vehicle to behave unpredictably when idling. These variations in idle speed can also increase fuel consumption and cause unnecessary strain on the engine. Number 2. Rough idling. A malfunctioning IAC valve can result in rough idling. This happens because the valve may not be providing the correct amount of air to the engine when it's idling. As a result, the engine may shake or vibrate noticeably at idle. You may also feel the car's cabin vibrating, and the steering wheel might feel unsteady. This roughness is caused by irregular air-fuel mixture, which is crucial for smooth operation. A clogged or faulty valve can cause this issue by restricting airflow, making it difficult for the engine to achieve and maintain the proper air-fuel ratio. Rough idling can be frustrating, especially if it causes discomfort or affects the vehicle's drivability. Number 3. Engine stalling. If the IAC valve malfunctions, the engine may stall when it comes to a stop. This happens when the engine control unit cannot get the correct airflow through the valve to maintain an appropriate idle speed. With insufficient air entering the engine, the idle speed can drop too low, leading the engine to stall. This issue is particularly noticeable when stopping at traffic lights or when the car is slowing down. The car may shut off suddenly, making it necessary to restart the engine. Engine stalling can be a sign of a more severe IAC problem, requiring prompt attention to avoid further driving disruptions. Number 4. Check Engine Light. The check engine light, CEL, may illuminate on the dashboard if there is an issue with the IAC valve. The vehicle's ECU constantly monitors components like the IAC valve for proper functioning. If the IAC valve fails or starts malfunctioning, the ECU will trigger the CEL as a warning. This light can indicate a variety of problems, but in the case of the IAC valve, it is often accompanied by other symptoms like erratic idle or rough idling. A diagnostic scan of the vehicle will help identify the exact error code, such as P0505 or P0506, which typically relate to idle control issues. Addressing the root cause of the CEL can help prevent further damage to the engine and improve vehicle performance. Number 5. Increased fuel consumption. A faulty IAC valve can contribute to poor fuel efficiency. Since the valve regulates airflow during idle, a malfunctioning valve may allow excess air into the engine or fail to provide enough. When this happens, the engine may use more fuel to maintain idle speed, 
leading to an increase in fuel consumption. This is especially noticeable in stop-and-go driving conditions where the engine is idling frequently. The engine may also consume more fuel when accelerating, as the improper airflow can affect the air-fuel mixture. In the long term, this can increase overall fuel costs and decrease the vehicle's fuel economy. Number 6. Hesitation or stumbling on acceleration. When the IAC valve is not working correctly, it can affect the engine's ability to respond to acceleration smoothly. If the valve is stuck in a position that either restricts airflow or allows too much air, the engine may hesitate or stumble when you press the accelerator. This hesitation occurs because the engine is not getting the correct amount of air, which is critical for a balanced air-fuel mixture. As a result, the vehicle may feel sluggish or unresponsive, particularly when trying to accelerate from a complete stop. This symptom is especially noticeable when driving on highways or at higher speeds where smooth acceleration is essential. Number 7. Unusual engine noise. In some cases, a malfunctioning IAC valve may cause unusual engine noise, particularly a high-pitched whining or humming sound. This noise occurs when the valve is struggling to regulate air intake properly. If the valve is stuck open or closed, the engine may make more noise than usual because it's not running at its optimal idle speed. This can create a noticeable sound when the vehicle is idling, which might become more pronounced as the engine warms up. If you notice any unusual sounds coming from the engine during idle, it could indicate that the IAC valve is malfunctioning and further inspection is needed. Number 8. Poor engine response when in gear A faulty IAC valve can also affect engine response when the car is in gear, especially at low speeds. When the vehicle is in gear and the engine's idle speed is not correctly regulated, the engine may struggle to maintain smooth operation. You may notice the car jerking or stuttering as the engine tries to compensate for the improper air intake. This issue can be particularly noticeable when driving in stop-and-go traffic as the engine constantly adjusts to low-speed driving. Poor engine response when in gear can be frustrating and dangerous, as it may affect your ability to accelerate smoothly or maintain control of the vehicle. Number 9. Hard starting. A faulty IAC valve can sometimes cause difficulty starting the engine. When the valve malfunctions, it may fail to regulate the proper airflow during the startup process, causing the engine to struggle to start or take longer than usual to turn over. This can be especially noticeable on cold mornings or after the car has been sitting idle for an extended period. The engine may crank but fail to start immediately, and when it does start, it might stall or have an unstable idle. If you're experiencing prolonged cranking or hard starts, the IAC valve could be a contributing factor that needs inspection and repair. So, if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it might be time to take a closer look at your IAC valve. It's always a good idea to get it checked by a mechanic to prevent further issues down the road. If this helped you, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with a friend stuck in traffic with their check engine light on. Thanks for watching, and hey, take care of your ride.